Hello, and welcome to the Adventures of Siberia. We are playing Space Engineers, and we are showcasing one of my latest builds. I present to you the Big H-Wing. Check it out, guys. This is one of my latest builds. I am super stoked with the way this ship came out. It is such a versatile ship. I am super stoked to have it. You can do so many things with it. Let me go ahead and show you around. So I went ahead and uh, when I was building this, I kind of thought catamaran a little bit. And that's how I came up with this shape here. Uh, my friends soon after ended up calling it the Big H. So after that, ended up taking the name Big H Wing. And here you have it. But this is actually a newer version of the Big H. The original was a vanilla version that I used to use on one of the NA servers, the Keen servers. This is designed specifically for the industrial overhaul mod. I am super stoked about this ship. First things first, it is a hybrid. As you can see here, it functions with atmospherics ionic thrusters and also hydrogen thrusters which are not on at the moment i can turn it on shortly and uh, what that means is this ship is capable of flying anywhere in this game moons planets anywhere any type of gravity it will handle it it comes with equipped with a large cargo container large good cargo container um, it is designed for you to transport anything you need um, it also has a hydrogen gener uh, two hydrogen generators and a large grid hydrogen tank. When this ship was originally built, it came with a mining ship that ran on hydro hydrogen, which uh, if you are following um, episode 10 of the Adventures of Siberia Industrial Overhaul, you will see the whole trio, the welder, the grinder, and the mining ship that fit perfectly right here and go along with this ship. Um, so yeah, plenty of defenses, plenty of laser turrets. We have the big one on the top, three on each side. We have one more loss on this side here, and then we have a few more at the very bottom here. A total of four at the bottom, two at the back side here. No blind spots left allowed. Um, up here we have a missile turret just because it's cool to shoot missiles at people. So that's why it's there. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the inside. Um, but first, let me show you the actual inside workings of it so that you can kind of have an idea what's going on in here. So we have all of the thrusters. There are nine batteries. And here is where most of the magic works. We have six reactors, the two generators, um, there are eight gyros. The large cargo container is here. And of course, what ship would it be without a jump drive? So this ship is capable of going the distance. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the inside uh, for comfort. So I did use the rotary door mod for the building of this ship here, as you can see here. So let's go ahead and rotate this door and slowly walk in um, with the amount of room that I was given, I went ahead and made it as cozy as possible. We do have cargo container access right from here. We have a survival kit right up here. This uh, room is obviously airtight. A little couch for you to rest. This would be the bedroom. We got a bed and a closet. And then all the other necessities. You have a kitchen with a little table. You can cook your dinner and such. Bathroom and shower. And then let's go to the main set of this ship here the main room which is the command console very simple but takes care of everything i have an lcd installed up here with my um, fake horizon artificial horizon so anyways let me go ahead and turn on the hydrogen thrusters here so that you can take a look and there you have it now, this ship is more than capable when empty to get out of orbit with just the atmospherics and the ionics. Um, the hydrogen is here just to give it a little bit of a boost for when you're loaded, you know, when you have too much stuff in your cargo container and you need to get out of orbit. 
it is the perfect way to go. So guys, I will definitely be posting this on the Steam Workshop. Thank you so very much for following me. Please go ahead and leave a like and also a subscription. Um, it does motivate me a lot when you guys do that. Thank you so very much. And if you want to see the building of this ship, go ahead and check out episode 10 of Industrial Overhaul, The Adventures of Siberia. Thank you very much, guys. Check out this little video I put together for you guys.